Okay guys, welcome to my new video, and this is going to be a part 2 from part 1. And we are actually going to be continuing that USDT FUD, and uh, whether this is actually potentially going to be happening, and whether it could become the next UST. And as you all may know, UST did have its massive decline, as you can see right here. It is down 32.4%, including Anchor Protocol, which is down 80%, and uh, Terra Luna is down 97% from around almost $100, guys. Uh, $120, ever since it reached its all-time high, um, we did end up seeing that massive, massive decline. So, yeah, guys, it is quite interesting and it is quite insane to see these cryptocurrencies drop by this much. Even though, you know, we are in a bear market, we still, you know, it is horrible to see these cryptocurrencies drop by this much because at one point they were $120 and uh, were at a very high price. And yeah, now they are very cheap. No one really wants to buy them. And unfortunately, we are going to be repeating that cycle again where whenever, whenever everything is cheap, no one's interested. But when everything gets expensive, people start to FOMO in. And unfortunately, that's how, you know, cryptocurrency is um, is operated. And people do just buy the cryptocurrency because it is hyped up. So, yeah, at this moment in time, no one's really looking into buying it. But, yeah, if we just get started with this. Previously, we've spoken a little bit about this. But, guys... I found out something. So the Tether spokesman said that the short sellers seem to be involved in a clever scheme to raise capital from those less not less knowledgeable by leveraging on this disinformation with the end goal of collecting a management fee. So, guys, and um, the Tesla spokes. Sorry, not the Tether. Tes, not, not the Tesla, Tesla, the Teva spokesman is basically calling this a scam. So people that are trying to short this, the way they're making their money is the management fee. And yes, there is a management fee, okay? And uh, it does cost a little bit. So as you can see around here, it's very easy to short Teva. It costs around 4 to 5% a year. So let's say you wanted to short around a million dollars. So a million dollars, divide that by 100, times that by 4. You're looking at spending forty thousand to fifty thousand dollars a year attempting to short Tether. So, guys, this is something that you guys will have to kind of think to yourself whether it will, would be worth it, and uh, if you're happy to go along, and uh, well, if, if you're happy to spend this much, and uh, if it's something that you guys are interested in, and keep in mind, if it was ten million dollars, you'd be spending ten times. 400k if it was 100 million dollars you'll be spending 4 million to 5 million so yeah it is quite a lot of money and uh, it, it does say you can do up to eight figures and keep in mind this is per account so you can just make more accounts since this is a decentralized exchange and you could be able to get away with it so yeah comment down below if this is something you are interested in and as always um this is not financial advice i'm just showing you something that you know i found quite interested in and hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video and as always uh, please like subscribe and share and hopefully you guys do enjoy and peace